Welcome back to PMR. Today we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max Apple Silicon Case. We got this on Amazon for $50 and it comes in 8 colors. Really want to try the MagSafe capability on this so let's open it. Here's what's inside the box. You got a little bit of a film or protection here. Take it off. Just got an image instruction how to put it in left to right. It also comes with this little manual here. And you have your MagSafe silicon case. Let's go ahead and take this off first. Let's take a look around it. Let's go around. You got the camera here. You got a lip there for protection for the mute switch, the volume. There's a port. The Apple logo in the middle. Now as far as the grip from the silicon goes, I mean it's grippy but it's not enough where it's you're trying to put in your in and out of your pocket you'll have trouble with it inside here you got this felt or you got this suede feel in here preventing your iphone to scratch and in the middle here you got this ring here that's where the magnet goes so look on the side on top the other side the bottom doesn't have that suede where the volume and the lightning connector goes to it's not super soft like those silicone you see on other cases then again, it's a bit flexible. It has some flex to it. Let's go ahead and try it on our phone. We got to show you guys. Got that iPhone labeling in there. Now that we have the case installed on the phone, we do have a screen protector here by Spigen. So you can see no issue there. Just a little bit of gap, which is okay because it's still going to protect the phone. Is a little bit of that raised lip. Let's go around. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a snug fit. You can't even really just push it out. You figured it's silicon and it would kind of slide out. But yeah, that's a snug fit. Same at the bottom. Nice fit. And on the top. So very premium feel, premium look. I mean, you are paying $50. Pretty pretty much on the expensive side. Let's look at the camera lens here. Definitely enough space to protect your lens. High enough. Got the volume and the lightning connector. Plenty of space. Third party lightning connector. No problem. Let's go ahead and try the buttons. Clicky. Good. Plenty of space for the mute switch. Power button, very clicky. Overall premium feel. Now we really like the design of the iPhone 12 where it's a flat edge here. Gives you a better of a grip. Compared to the iPhone 11 Pro, you have a rounded edge. Gives it, you know, more of a chance of it dropping. With this, you got a good solid grip. You can easily pick it up. No problem. And of course, we compare it next to our Rhino Shield case here. Now, we really like this case, but it does not have the MagSafe, so that's a big downside. Easier to grab. Because sometimes, with, even with the Rhino Shield, there you go, I just dropped it. Even when you grab it on the side here, it still falls off sometimes. Just a quick side to side comparison next to our Rhino Shield, bottom, and the top. Overall, we like this case. Now, as far as protection goes, and I've seen some YouTubers drop it six feet high without any damage with this case on, so you should be okay. Plus, with the ceramic shield, it gives you more of a protection, so I believe this is enough just for you on the daily. If you're just in office or maybe school, you're not doing anything super active, you should be okay with this case. One cons we can say is that once you put it in your pocket, it's kind of like a lint magnet, so it's kind of hard to take that off. You got all that little fuzzy kind of pretty much attaching to the case. Go ahead and take it off. Let's go ahead and try it with our MagSafe charger. We got our MagSafe here. There's a good amount of grip to this. It's not gonna fall. So if you can even use it while you're charging, have it not fall off. Let's try to see if I could get it to come off. Now this is a little bit on the extreme side. Yeah, that's not gonna come off, guys. Yeah, so there's a good grip to it. Plus the silicon material definitely will give it a bit of a better grip to it, so it won't slide off. I mean, if you force it enough, of course it's gonna come off. Try dangling it. See if it comes off. 
No, that's not gonna come off. Nope. Rather than grabbing here, it's a little bit difficult, or some people I even see them pulling it from here. Not the best idea, because these things are kind of brittle. In time, you'll start splicing and start opening it up. So if you want to take it off, I suggest you just push on the side. Now we've only tried it a couple of times. As you can see, it's already forming a ring surrounding it. So the more you use this, that's going to be a lot more defined. Let's see if we can kind of rub it off. Right, you can still see it right there. Let's go ahead and just try charging it, just clapping it down. There you go. Let's go ahead and try to take it off, see if it's easy. Oh, a little bit of a struggle. Use the camera to push it out. Yeah. It's a little bit tight in there, guys. Oh, man, that's tight. It's actually harder than the Rhino Shield to take off. I didn't think it would be that much of a challenge, but yeah, it's a little bit hard taking it off. Just a quick recap, you got the original box here. It comes with this cardboard to hold the case. You got this little film here, and of course, you got the Apple Silicon case. Now we got this on Amazon for $50, and it comes in eight colors. We'll put a link down below. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe and stay positive.